just uh, ready to get underway here. The Troy Athens Red Hawks and the Lake Orion Dragons. Softball action in an April afternoon. Stiff wind, as we mentioned in pregame, blowing out the center field. Anything gets up in that, in that wind is going to carry a long way today. Alexis Aguilar is going is pitching for Lake Orion. Michaela Kirtland leading off for the Red Hawks. We're underway. Foul back off the first base side. No balls, one strike. Had showers earlier in the day. Coach Brennan of Troy Athens was very impressed with the condition of the field. Strike two, Bonnetamp missed. No balls, two strikes. Just underway, glad you're with us. Swing and a miss, strike three. Blew it right by her on the outside part of the plate. One out. That brings up number 14, Laney Ellinger. She's the pitcher tonight. Stands forward in the batter's box. Ground ball foul down the first baseline. Kind of a swinging bunt. Dragons in tight on the corners. Outfield straight up. Strike on the outside part. No balls, two strikes. Ground ball to short, long throw across, not in time. Laney beat it out, it's an infield single. Up to bat, number 12, Megan LaRose. Megan LaRose playing third base tonight, bat next. Megan, a senior third base person. Inside. Hellinger bluffed a second, did not go. Swing and a miss. Off speed pitch and a good one. One ball, one strike. Megan way out in front of that one. Ball high, makes count two and one. <clears throat> Base hit up the middle. Laney Ellinger holds it second. Megan LaRose has a one out single. Peyton Ellinger, who's in center field, bats next. She's a she is a freshman. Foul back this way. No balls, one strike. Ball.
Ball low. Evens the count, one and one. Two on, one out here in the top of the first. Inside, that's three and one. Steve Bolin is our home plate umpire tonight. Wes Maliar is working the bases. Swing and a miss. She got one up in the zone. Evens the count at two and two. Swing and a miss, struck her out. Two down. That'll bring up Jillian Laudenslager playing left field tonight. Strike on the outside corner. A quick bluff back to second. Swing and a miss. Alexis trying to get out of the jam here in the top of the first. Ground ball to short. Across the diamond, thrown away. That'll get a run in. And Laney Ellinger scored. Megan LaRose took third. And Jillian Lodenslager goes to second on the error by the shortstop. Step number 20, Rachel Van Proyen. Rachel Van Proyen, a junior shortstop, up with two out and two on. Ball outside. Alexa was just about out of the inning. Strike on the inside corner. One and one. Foul back off the first base side. One ball, two strikes, two out. One run in. Five ball center field, hit well, off the wall. That'll get two in. Rachel's gonna hold with a single, a two run single here in the top of the first. Bring up number two, Julian Stark. She's a freshman, just brought up to the varsity roster. One of two freshmen on this Red Hawk team. Ball low. Swing and a miss. Evens the count, one and one. One on, two out, three runs in here in the top of the first. Oh, 
Little nibbler. Alexa throws her out, and the Red Hawks are retired, but they score three. We're going to the bottom of the first, Troy Athens three, Lake Orion coming to bat. We'll remind you that DVD copies can be purchased by calling Orion Neighborhood Television at 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. DVD copies, 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. Glad to see Athletic Director Chris Bell has joined us up here in the booth. We'll hope to get some words with him between innings. Laney Ellinger is the pitcher for Troy Athens. She's a junior. Three runs on three hits for Athens in the first. Tessa Nuss will lead off. Tessa's in center field today. Tessa steps in left hand batter. Strike called. Tessa looking with the run up swing. Ground ball to second. Through the legs of the second baseman into right field. We'll check with our official score if that's a hit or an error. Error. Peyton Shadea playing third base today of that next. Run around, nobody out. High ball one. Chrissy Bell serving as our official scorer this afternoon. Ball outside. Two balls, no strikes. Run around first. Foul back out of the way. Two and one. Strike on the outside corner, evens the count, two and two. Ball high, full count, three and two, one on, nobody out. Shelby Misak on deck. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. Throw the second one and that's all they're gonna get. Shelby Misak, our designated player today. Out, outfield playing in on the corners, deep in the outfield, ball low.
ball way high, gets a way over the head of the catcher. Shadeo go to second on the wild pitch. Inside, three balls, no strikes. Ball low. Shelby walks on four pitches. Puts runners on first and second with one out. Brings up Susan Balecki playing the catcher today. Strike on the outside. No balls, one strike, one out, two on. Troy Athens up three to nothing here in the bottom of the first. Foul back out of the way. Laney looking in for the sign and the pitch. Ground ball foul. No balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Got her on strikes. Two down, that'll bring up Cassidy Carson. Playing shortstop tonight. Strike down the middle, no balls, one strike. Inside and high evens up the count. One ball, one strike. I called that two. I'm sorry, called that a strike. No balls, two strikes. Ball inside. Swing and a miss. And she's out on the throat of first. We finished one, Troy Athens three, Lake Orion nothing. We'll be right back. The United States Air Force has a proud history of leading our nation in embracing diversity. We've been reaching new heights for years by understanding it's our individual experiences which make us strong. You can share in this success by seeking opportunities to learn and grow as a member of a diverse team. We are the world's greatest Air Force, not because of what we do, but who we are. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Top of the second, Troy Athens struck for three in the first. The Dragons threatened but couldn't push anything across. They're down three to nothing here in the top of the second. Leading off for Troy Athens will be Katie McGarry. She's the catcher tonight. Ball outside. Ground ball to second. Jamie Bell has it, throws her out. Ball 
One up and one down here in the second inning. Carly Paplinski, the first playing first base tonight, will bat next. Strike on the inside part. Wind still blowing brisk out to center field. Ball high. Field down to the first base umpire. She didn't go through. Evens the count at one and one. Foul right back our way. Stays in the netting above us. One and two on Katie. I'm sorry, Carly Poplinski is up now. Ball low. We have a ball stuck in the netting. Yeah. Athletic, athletic director Chris Bell looking to protect his investment. He'll get down between innings. Did hit her? Sydney Wickersham is the flex player. She's a junior. Line drive to right field, caught by the right fielder Abigail Marsh. Two down. Up to bat, number 14, Laney Ellinger. That was McCaitlin Kirkland flew out to right. Laney Ellinger lines one into right center field. Runner goes to third and is in safely. And Laney takes second on the throw. So runners on second and third with two out. Megan LaRose, who singled and scored a runner first time up. Ball inside. Foul tip, back to the screen. Line drive to the short, dropped. That's going to get a run in, and everybody's safe. Cassidy Carson came in, tried to get it, and it just short hopped in front of her, and everybody's safe. So runners on first and third, two out. Up to bat, number 11. Number 11, Peyton freshman Peyton Ellinger. Up now for Athens. Yeah. 
Bunt to third base. Throws to first, sides retired. Athens scores one. We go to the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second. Four to nothing. Be sure to tune in to replays of your favorite games right here on Orion Neighborhood Television. Tune in Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I'm sorry, Sundays at 7 p.m., Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also replayed throughout the week, so check our program guide on our webpage at Orion, O-N-T-V dot org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also, visit our YouTube link for games on demand, www.orionontv.org. Going to the bottom of the second, Dragons down four to nothing. Aaron Schroeder will lead off. Aaron in left field tonight. Athens did not have a lot of hard hit balls in their half of the second inning, but they were just out of the reach. And they ended up pushing another run across on only two hits. Aaron Schrader, left fielder. Swing and a miss. No balls, one strike. Ground ball through the hole, short into left field. Base hit. Going the other way. That'll bring up McKenna Roy at first base tonight. Strike at the knees, no balls, one strike. Foul back out of play. No balls, two strikes. One on, nobody out, bottom of the second. Inside. Wind shifted a little bit toward right field. Foul back this way. Remains no balls, two strike or one ball, two strikes. Foul back out of play. McKenna making her work. And the pitch. It hit her. Hit her on the left forearm. And she'll go to first. So two on, nobody out. 
Abigail Marsh, playing right field tonight, steps in. Strike on the outside part. No balls, one strike, or one and one. Fly ball, center field. Caught. Runners retreat. She gave it a ride to center field, just not far enough. Center fielder Pete Nellinger made the catch on the track. S Jamie Bell playing second base steps in. Strike on the outside corner. Two on, one out here in the bottom of the second. Pitch bunt down the. It's a good one, and she's going to be safe. Bases are loaded on a bunt single by Jamie Bell. So bases are loaded. Tessa Nuss, who was safe on an error in the first, was forced on a fielder's choice, steps in. Officially over, right back to the pitcher. Home for one, and that's all they're going to get. Right back to the pitcher. Any place else, they don't come home for that run. So bases remain loaded with two outs. Peyton Shadaya, who was safe on a fielder's choice in the first. Ball high. Bases loaded, two out. Two balls, one strike on Peyton. Ball high, no place to put her. Foul over the Dragon dugout. Full count, three balls, two strikes, bases loaded. Little blooper, it's gonna drop. That'll get two in. A little bloop signal, single over the head of the shortstop. Gets two runs in. And that brings up Shelby Misak with two on and two out. High fly foul. Couldn't get to it in time. Tessa Noose is on second, Peyton Shadaya on first, Shelby Misak up, two runs in here in the bottom of the second. Line drive to the shortstop, inning ends, Dragons score two, we finish two. Triathens four, 
The Dragons 2. We'll be right back. Hey, it's Owen TV here. Now, have you ever had the urge to create your own TV show? Or just wanted to see what goes behind the scenes of making one? Well, we have just the program for you. Owen TV offers production classes, which allow you to take control and create the programs you want them to be. To get started, all you have to do is sign up for a free orientation and then register for one of our production courses. For more information, feel free to call us at 248-393-1060 or go to orionontv.org and click register now to sign up for classes. We hope to see you soon. My name is Blake. I received a heart transplant when I was two weeks old. I play defense for the Red Hot Tornadoes. Sometimes my heart starts pounding like faster and faster as I go. I know I have someone else's heart inside me. It makes me feel happy because someone was generous enough to give me a second chance to live. This gift of life was made possible by an organ donor. Imagine what you could make possible. Sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. Top of the third, Dragons chipped away at it, scored two, now trail four to two, going into the top of the third. Julian, Julian Laudenslager, who was safe on an error and scored a run in the first, leads off the third. Pitch down and away, one ball, no strikes. Wind blowing hard to right field now. Started out to dead center. Swing and a miss. No balls, two, or one ball, one strike. Dragons again play her in at the corners. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Off speed pitch and a good one. Ball outside. Swing and a miss, got her on strikes. Off speed pitch again and she swung right through it. Up to bat, number 20, Rachel Froian. Rachel Van Proyen, the shortstop, steps in. Rachel had a single in the first and was left stranded. Swing and a miss on the outside part. High and inside, evens account, one ball, one strike. One out here in the top of the third. Troy Athens leads four to two. Alexis looks in, ball outside. Strike right down the middle with a good pitch. Evens account two and two. Nobody on one out. Inside. Counts full.
The inside, Walker. Runner on first on the walk. Next up, number two. That'll Julia bring up Stark. Julia Stark, who struck out in the first. Ball on the, or strike on the inside, outside corner, throw down to first. Dragons again playing in at first and third. McKenna Roy at first, pretty, pretty much even with the bag. Peyton Shadea at third is in a couple steps. Second and shorter at normal depth. Outfield straight up, not too deep. Ground ball foul. No balls, two strikes. Ground ball to second. Only play she has is to first. Rachel Van Proyen takes second. Next up, number 19, Katie McGarry. Katie McGarry, catcher, steps in. Runner on second, two out. Strike on the outside corner. Ball high. Evens the count one and one, two out, one runner on. Swing and a miss on a good pitch on the inside. One ball, two strikes. Clouds rolling in again. We had rain earlier in the day. We weren't sure if this game was going to take place. Ground ball foul. One ball, two strikes, two out, runner on second. Ball outside. Evens the count. Two and two. Ground ball to first. McKenna Roy steps on the bag, sides retired. Only a walk after at the going into the bottom of the third. It's still four to two, Troy Athens. Have you ever wanted to make your own TV show or operate a camera for a live sporting event like our happy crew here today? Well, Orion Neighborhood Television can make it happen. Your first step, though, is to sign up for orientation. It's free and offers you a look behind the scenes of ONTV. Call 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060 for more information. Dragons coming into the bottom of the third Hoping to chip away at the lead. 
Susan Balecki will lead off for the Dragons. Cassidy Carson and Aaron Schroeder to follow. box cheering going on up here today. Susan Balecki leads it off. The catcher, she struck out in the first. Ball outside. Five ball, it's gonna go to the wall. Going to second, and she's in safely with a double. Susan Balecki with a leadoff double here in the bottom of the third. Cassidy Carson, who struck out and then was thrown out catcher to the first baseman to end the first steps in. She's got a chance to drive a run in here. Foul back this way. Ball low. Susan Pilecki bluffing, comes back to second. Ball inside, two balls, one strike, one on, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the third. Pop up, second baseman fighting the wind, makes the catch. Now batting number seven, Aaron Trader. Good job by Sidney Wickersham at second base, fighting the wind. Aaron Schroeder. Had a single in the second. Was forced at home. Ball low. Two balls, no strikes. Strike on the outside part. Two balls, one strike. One on, one out. Dragons down by two. Little blooper caught by the pitcher. Susan Balecki's got a hold at second. So two down, that'll leave it up to McKenna Roy was hit by a pitch and scored a run in the second. Ball low. Ball back out of play over the Dragon dugout. Oh, 
One ball, one strike, two out, runner on second. Ground ball through the infield into left field. That'll get a runner over to third. So McKenna Roy with a two out single keeps it alive. Abby Marsh, who flew to center first time up, looking to drive a run in. Swing and a miss. No balls, one strike. Strike two. Not trying to be cute this time. She just, uh, Laney Ellinger's just bringing heat in. Strike three, got her. The inning ends, Dragons threaten, but do not score. We finish three, it's four to two. Troy Athens, we'll be right back. Spring is in the air. The Lake Orion DDA is gearing up for the 16th annual Flower Fair scheduled to take place over Mother's Day weekend, beginning on Friday, May 12th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and continuing on Saturday, May 13th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. With 60 to 70 vendors set up over two days in downtown Lake Orion selling flowers, garden art, and home improvement items, you are sure to find something you like. This annual favorite will once again give you the opportunity to find the perfect gift for mom. For more information on the Lake Orion Flower Fair, you can call 248-693-9742 or visit downtownlakeorion.org. Starting the top of the fourth, Dragons down four to two. Katie McGarry, the catcher, leads off here in the top of the fourth. Dragons had their chances. Getting the between innings music done. Katie McGarry, catcher, was out, has grounded to second in one plate appearance. Dragon still player in at the corners. Outfield pretty much straight up. Left field are playing back a little more than center and right. Tap foul. Two balls, or one ball, one strike. Carly Poplinski on deck. Swing and a miss. Good outside pitch. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch, low, evens the count, two and two. Swing and a miss, got her on strikes. Up the bat, number 13. Kirkland. 
Michaela Kirkland steps in. She struck out and flown to right in two plate appearances. Strike. Okay. Ball low. Evens account one ball, one strike. Time called while the umpire cleaned the plate. Ball outside. Laney Ellinger's in the on deck circle. Ball low. Three balls, one strike. And she walked her. Up to bat, number 14. Laney number 14, Laney Ellinger, who's two for two, two singles and two plate appearances. She scored a run, steps in. One on and one out. Line drive to the shortstop, back to first. Gets back safely. Hard hit ball right at Cassidy Carson. Megan LaRose with two singles and two plate appearances steps in next. Runner on first and two out. Fly ball, left field. Aaron Schroeder under it, and the side's retired. One runner on, no damage. We go to the bottom of the fourth, still four to two. Video classes are now enrolling. Reserve your seat today. Learn the basics of studio and field production with Orion Neighborhood Television staff of video professionals. We offer hands-on instruction in a fun atmosphere. Orion residents pay only $10. Call ONTV to find out more at 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060 or visit our webpage at Orion. ONTV.org. Going to the bottom of the fourth. Jamie Bell will lead off. Jamie had a bunt single in the second. She'll be followed by Tessa Nuss and Peyton Shadaya here in the bottom of the fourth. Strike called, no balls, one strike. Strike two on the outside corner. Girl, 
No balls, two strikes. Jamie leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Dragons. Dragons down two, looking to claw their way back. Outfield shaded a little bit to left. Ball. Foul tip. Jamie stays alive. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out here at the bottom of the fourth. Little pop up. Foul ball. Megan LaRose playing third, just couldn't get in quick enough to, to grab it. So Jamie stays alive. One ball, two strikes. Ball low. Evens the count, two and two. And the pitch. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. Throws to first, one up, one down. Tessa Nuss, who is safe on an error and hit into a fielder's choice, steps in. Oh, it hit her. Hit her in the left ankle. Peyton Shadea is safe on a fielder's choice and has a single looking to drive her in. Ball outside, Peyton squared to bunt. There's a big hole in straightaway center field. If she gets one in the air that way, she'll run the rest of the day. Ball outside, two balls, no strike. The center fielder is playing to the left field side of second base. And the right fielder straight up. Anything gets out in that in the in the breeze is going to carry. Ball outside that makes the count three and zero. Oh. Shelby Misak sitting on deck. Ball four walked on four straight. Puts two on. Shelby Misak, who has walked and popped to short in two plate appearances. She'd like to get something up in that 20 mile an hour breeze right about now. Ah! Foul back out of play. Oh, hit our Orion neighborhood television van right on the roof. The one strike pitch. Fly ball left field. Track wall gone. A three run homer for Shelby Misak and the Dragons take the lead. It got up in the wind and just carried out. The right fielder looked like she was going to have a play on it and kept going back 
and bank and finally ran out of real estate. The Dragons take a five to four lead here in the bottom of the fourth. Just like that. Well, we knew sooner or later somebody was going to get something up in that breeze. Susan Pilecki, with a double and two plate appearances, steps in. Strike on the outside part of the plate. Good pitch. One out, nobody on. Dragons have scored three. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Ground ball through the hole into left field. Susan Blecky has her second hit of the day. Cassidy Carson was 0 for 2, a strikeout and a pop to second in two plate appearances. There goes the runner, throw to the second, got her. One strike on Cassidy Carson now. Two out here in the fly ball, that's in the gap, going to the wall. Cassidy going to second, she'll hold up with a double. Aaron Schroeder with a single in two plate appearances steps in. Swing and a miss. Pitch up in the zone. A bunt to the pitcher, throw to first, got her, side retired. So the Dragons strike with three. We played four. It's five to nothing. Drownings are a leading cause of death for young children. Simple safety steps are the best way to prevent these tragedies. Make sure kids learn how to swim. Always watch them in and around water. Properly fence all pools and stay away from drains. Consider the steps you take, then add a few more. Because you never know which pool safety step will save a life until it does. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit PoolSafely.gov. Cheru has no choice. She and millions like her walk miles a day for dirty water. Together, we can end their walk by providing clean water. Because when you just add water, you change a life. Learn more at worldvision.org. Back for the top of the fifth inning. And we're hoping sometime during this inning, this half, to get a couple words with Athletic Director Chris Bell. As soon as we can get him set up with, a, with some headsets and things. Chris, thanks for taking a little time here. Number 11. Oh, my pleasure. Peyton Ellinger. Um, we'll kind of work in around the game today. Peyton Ellinger leading off. Chris, give us a couple words about how the job's going. Job's been great. It's been the 
good spring. Um, our teams are doing very well. Uh, it's been nice uh, working with the different staffs and, and uh, you know, for myself, uh, going through their seasons with them for the first time, I'm learning as well. So uh, it's been fun. You know, it's, it's uh, our, our kids come to compete every night and, you know, it's, uh, it's great to see. Ball outside, evens account one and one. Chris, there's a lot going on, and you know we've seen it with with football especially, but the with some of the budget cutbacks, you know, they want to cut back athletic programs. The parent support that Lake Orion teams have always had is outstanding. That's that's just as critical now as it ever was. Well, and I get a really good chance to see it too, uh, because all the all the dollars that come through the teams generally go through my office and and. Uh, you know, I get to see the fundraising efforts by the different booster clubs and by the parent groups, and they are absolutely amazing in their support. Um, and I can tell you, what a great play by Cass. Oh, what a great what? play. Pop up, Cassie Carson with a great play at shortstop. Getting on my soapbox, you know, it, it's a it, – there's no better bang for their buck than, uh, than our athletic program. And that's not just – that's not, you know, because I'm the athletic director. It's because of the – the dollars, the, the the small amount of dollars that impact such a large number of kids and the hours and what they get out of it, um, it you know, athletics is the biggest bang for the buck. And then, like I said, the, uh, the parents do a great job of uh, helping to raise whatever funds uh, the teams need. Our community, as always, is so supportive. Um, you know, it is so generous. Um, so it's it's you know it's it's Lake Orion. It's it's been that way. It's you know we support our kids, we support our teams, and. Hopefully in return, our kids are appreciative and uh, they, they understand that that LO that they wear on their helmets or that orient across their chest it means more than just their team. They're representing their community as well as their school. On a personal note, how hard was it to give up coaching football to take this position? Very hard. Very hard. The, you know, the, what made it, you know, what, what uh, a couple of things went into it. Number one, the opportunity. Uh, to be the athletic director, you know, Bill did such a great job and, and left it in, left it in uh, in good shape. And these jobs don't come open very often, so I knew if if, uh, if I wanted this opportunity, I had to jump at it. Uh, the other thing is our football program. You know, the fact we got back to the playoffs last year, we've got a good team coming back. I felt like we're in good shape there. Uh, and the fact that I got a guy like John Blackstock that's been with me for so long that I can turn it over to, and the staff is staying intact. So. That made it easier. You know, I, I may have uh, some unexplained twitching come fall. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, it's th – this job has kept me so busy. I haven't had time to really think about it, but I'll miss it. You know, there's, there's – the, the hardest part is uh, not getting a chance to coach the kids and getting to know them on an individual basis. You know, that'll be different. But, uh, you know, it's still, uh, it's still my team. Like, they're all my teams. So, you know, I'll be with them every week. Ground ball. So, first uh, pitcher to the first, we're two down. So, new challenges, but uh, we're moving forward. You know, we're, I was talking with the Troy Athens uh, coach before the game. She was just amazed at, number one, with the rain we had today, that they were able to get the field in, in such great shape so early, you know, to get this game in. The grounds people that take care of it, they do a tremendous job. And it's its softball, you see it, baseball. The job they do on football Fridays, they just do a tremendous job all over the the, the complex. Oh, here. yeah. Look, well, Chris Green and his crew, and there's four guys, and Dave is our field guy out here. They're phenomenal. I mean, they just, they are spread so thin, and they, they do such a great job taking care of, uh, you know, obviously our facilities here, but, you know, facilities around the district, so... Um, they, they, and they, they take a lot of pride in it. That's the thing. It's not just it's not just a job for them. They, they care that it, that it looks great. That's in great shape for our kids. So it's just a credit to those guys. If I had to ask you for the state of the athletic program, you mentioned you know Bill left you with with a pretty good program. Um, you know the number of varsity sports at Lake Orion has now it's 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 got to have you going seven ways from Friday. Well, we've got we've got 105 teams in the district that we're responsible for. Uh, you know, 30, oh, I've lost count, it's a 32 or 34 different varsity sports that we offer. Um, you know, it's, uh, all the teams are in different spots. You know, we got some teams that are really rolling, and some of that is, you know, talent cycles. Uh, other teams are building, 
But it, the good thing is that we're going to be moving in a positive direction. That's the goal. Goal is to win championships. The goal is to create great experiences for our kids. And uh, if we're not there, you know, we're going to be building to get there. Nice strikeout of Rachel Van Proyen on an off-speed pitch. The Red Hawks go one, two, three here in the fifth. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Dragons up five to four. Okay, we'll get this one in real quick that you can go mobile with Owen TV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with Owen TV to see what's happening in our studio, see upcoming events, and watch Owen TV programs in high definition on demand. Owen TV, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. You know, Chris, we've, we've been... Orion Neighborhood Television has been part of Lake Orion Athletics for almost as long as I was with the program. And, you know, since you've been here, we've, we've covered everything. And you can't get better publicity than, than us well, putting I, stuff out in the world to you. Well, it's, I'm just so happy for the kids. I really appreciate the effort you guys are making in covering all the different sports and you know, and allowing, uh, you know, it's just the kids love it. And it's, uh, you know, other people can't make it to the games. You know, I, I had parents uh, during the winter, you know, that were out of town, able to pull the games up and live stream on their computers. Um, just uh, just all the things that you guys do, uh, we really appreciate it. You know, between, and it's, it's just getting better between, you know, ON TV and, you know, now we got state champs partnering with the MHSAA. It's just the more coverage we can for our kids it just highlights our kids that you know it's not and it keeps it off you know your, your major sports have been covered well it's nice that you know some of your other sports whether it be track softball lacrosse you know they work just as hard it's nice that those kids are getting a chance to see themselves on tv one ball one strike and a foul back this way swing and a miss one ball two on mckenna roy who was hit by a pitch in the second, singled in the third. She's one for one. And this will be the first time, Chris, in quite a while that you'll really be able to take a good summer vacation. <laughs> we'll see. I think there's a lot of, a lot of work you gotta do to get, get her ready on for the, the hand. Fall. McKenna takes a base. She's hit for the second time in this game. Abby Marshall come up. Abby flew to center and struck out in two plate appearances. She's on with nobody, or with one on and nobody out. I think he's pinch hitting we for Abby. A, We've got uh, Kimmy, yeah. number 11. Yeah. Kimmy Sosnowski, I think it's yeah, pitch Kimmy for Abby. Yeah, Kimmy Sosnowski is going to bat for Abby Marsh. And Kimmy's a good little hitter. Kimmy should put a good swing on it. Joe's got a lot of pieces he's able to interchange. That uh, if you want, you know, looking for a spark here, and, and he does a good job of trying to get all the girls on the field to take advantage of their strengths. You have time to be the proud dad, too. Your daughter's done very well tonight. Sure. Strike on the inside part. Jimmy shortened the bunt. And took it. Bunt, and it's a good one. She got one play to first base. Kenna takes second on the sacrifice. Jamie Bell steps in with a runner on second and one out. Speaking of the Bell children, Kyle goes into his senior year. How's he been? Kyle's doing well. He just finished up. Uh, they just got done this week with the exams. Uh, he'll be a senior next year at Adrian College. So he's doing well and, and uh, He's playing on their football team. And uh, they should have a pretty good team coming back. Talking with some people in the community uh, in the past week, and everyone is very interested about 
you know, the Dragons that have made it to the pros. You know, you had Zach Kesey. You've got, you've got uh, Jeff Heath now. It speaks loads to the athletic program, but speaks loads to the dedication of those kids too. And they all seem to come back to the community. Yeah, you could be more proud of them. You know, we've got, uh, I think we've got, we've got a few baseball players who are also, you know, traveling through the minor leagues and, and just, you know, right on the cutting edge. Um, you know, it's the kids, to get to that level, you not only have to have talent, and I think they've had good coaching, but they have to have, they have, to have a little bit extra inside, and they do. They, you, you go back with those kids, they've all got something special. You know, they all work very hard. Um, and they're able to, to keep their priorities straight. They don't get sidetracked with all the garbage that's out there. You know, that, that, that's been the biggest thing. You talk to Jeff Heath nowadays. You know, Jeff Heath is no different than he was when he played for us. He's still the same sweet kid he always was. He's very humble. He's very appreciative of, of what he's accomplished. He's aware of what he accomplished. But he also knows that he's got to fight and earn it every day. Vanessa Hewlett, pinch hitting for Jamie Bell. Swing and a miss. Back out of play. One ball, two strikes. One out, runner on second. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Good eye. Vanessa's got some power. She's got in this situation. You know, you know, with with one out and runner on second, anything deep, anything in the gaps, and bring run home. Stiff wind still blowing. The flag straight out in center field, blowing a little bit to right center, dead right. It 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 certainly played in on on Shelby Misak's home run. She got it up in that jet stream, and it just carried. So two and two, one on, one out. Ball high, fills the count up. And your coaches at all levels. You said you've got 30 varsity foul ball. You said you've got 30 varsity sports. Every sport requires at least one coach. You've got a lot of coaching commitments here here in the athletic department, and that's that's only at the high school level. And then you talk the middle schools. And you've yeah. got a lot of commitment by coaching staff. And that's that's what it takes, it, you know, especially the league that we play, the league that, that our teams play in, um, the talent level. Uh, you know, if they're not going to put the time in, you know, it, 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 our kids are going to suffer. And, and we are very fortunate that we have coaches that get that, understand that, and they don't do it for the money. They get paid peanuts. They love the game. They love working with the kids. You know, Joe's a great example. You know, Joe is such a great caretaker of this program that the hours that he puts in to take care of every facet of the program, a lot of people don't see that. Mm -hmm. They don't see it behind the scenes. But there's a lot more to coaching than just showing up at the ballpark and going to practice or going to games. There's a ton of hours behind the scenes to make sure the kids have what they need and the program's where it needs to be. And, you know, and, and he puts a ton of effort into doing that. Foul tip. Vanessa hanging in. It's kind of three balls, two strikes, run around second, one out. Dragons up by one in the bottom of the fifth. Looking to drive another run in. Outfield pretty much straight up. Ball outside. He walked her. That puts two on. Jamie Bell coming back to pinch run, and we're going to have a visit by head coach, head coach Carrie Brennan of Troy Athens. And she's, she's going to make a pitching change, I believe. And number nine... Riley Griffiths is coming in to pitch. I, I hate to say it, my scorecard looks like a Chinese laundry <laughs> list right now. Well, that, that's softball, the way, the way the players can go in and out, especially with Joe. Joe's going to make a lot of substitutions, get a lot of kids in the ballgame. 
Riley Griffiths, she is a senior wearing number nine. I don't think she throws as hard as the previous pitcher, so it's going to be important that the girls will stay back and wait for the pitch a little bit. Tessa is our sophomore. Last year she was an all-state softball player as a freshman. She's re already received a scholarship to uh, a great school out in New York. Um, tremendous player. Yeah, she's been, I remember you know, we, we watched her, actually watched her grow up. She was safe on an error, safe on a fielder's choice, and hit by a pitch in really hasn't had an official plate appearance today. She steps in with two on and one out. Dragons up one, bottom of the fifth. Ball high. So in the time between being an associate principal and now being athletic director, how's your day usually go? You know, it's, it's a different job. You just see, you know, my days now are longer. You know, you, you, you just, because you're here till events are over. You know, and usually that's, that's it can be, you know, it, it, evening events, game times, you know, 7 or 7.30, so when those are over. But the, uh, the days are much more calm as an AP you just you know you're working with kids all day long and you're in the middle of everything and supervising everything so it's a lot it's a lot more during the day a little bit more relaxed a lot more office work a lot of a lot of things to do so we get our scheduling done get our all our office work done and and all that stuff but the uh, it, it's it's like anything else not enough hours in a day ground ball to second runners advance two down All right, we got to cash in here. Peyton Shadea steps in. Runner on second, runner on third with two out. Infield playing in tight. There you go. And over there, that's going to drop for a single. One runs in. Here comes the run of the plate. Not in time. Peyton Shadea comes in with a one-out single. Went to second on the throw home. Two runs in. The Dragons now lead it seven to four. Shelby Misick, who's walked, popped a short. And she lines one in the gap in right center up against the wall. And she's going to be held to a long single, but she drives a run in. That ball got out in a hurry. Yeah. They, need, they, they needed this. They needed a, it's, it's hard coming off a, a rough Tuesday. And sometimes it's hard to shake that. And they needed a big inning now, the big inning to snap back to where they need to be. Yeah, this team's been tough to figure out. They go into a tournament and beat some of the top teams in the county, and then they come back. and And Coach Latoya said, he says, you know, we th it's it's been a work in progress all se all season long. Well, it, it's we play great competition. Our, our league is a dogfight. You know, Joe, to his credit, puts her to our girls in some tough tournaments. Um, and it's it's a, it's a little bit of a different team every year. You got new kids, and and we return a good core. It's a very good team that can play with anybody, but on any given day, if they're, not, if they're not on, they can be beaten as well. Ball outside, two balls, one strike, two out, one on. It's a, it's a team that just has to, has to, as they grow up, learn just to keep competing, work hard, and trust the process. Control what they can control. Show hit, show hit. Susan Balecki. 
Up with two out. More press box cheering going on. Off speed pitch, high and outside. The ability for a softball pitcher to change speeds is huge. Well, especially when she doesn't throw, you know, she she's, doesn't have a great fastball, so she Pop needs that. Pop up at the plate, it drops. That's a fair ball, and it's going to be a single. You can't even call that a swinging bunt, just a pop-up between the plate and the pitcher's circle. The pitcher came in, the catcher went out, and it dropped between them. And it drove a run in. So runners on first and third did not drive a run in. It's eight to four. Fly ball to right field, caught by the right fielder. That'll end the inning. Chris, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. Anytime, Doug. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Athletic Director Chris Belt, kind enough to join us here in the booth. We've finished five. Dragons up eight to four. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Orion Athletics here on Orion Neighborhood Television. Owen TV here. Now have you ever had the urge to create your own TV show or you just wanted to see what goes behind the scenes of making a TV program? Well Owen TV has just the program for you. Owen TV offers studio and field production classes that allow you to take control and create the programs the way you want them to be. We will introduce you to media literacy skills and the fundamentals of program production in order to acquire the basic training needs for Owen TV equipment use. To get started, all you have to do is sign up for a free ONTV orientation where you will learn all about ONTV and all the opportunities available to our volunteers, as well as meet the ONTV staff and take a tour of our facility. After that, you can register for one of our production courses. Both the studio and field production courses are only $10 for Lake Orion residents and $25 for non-residents. For more information about ONTV's production classes, feel free to call us at 248 393-1060 or go to orionontv.org and click register now to sign up for classes. We hope to see you soon. Top of the sixth, the Dragons up 8-4 to four over the Troy Athens Red Hawks. Big innings in the fourth and the fifth. Brought about the lead. Riley Griffiths will lead off for the Red Hawks. She was inserted in the fifth inning. And she'll lead off here in top of the sixth. Trying to see. Yeah, she's going to bat in the position that Julia Stark was in. Sun's made its appearance back out again. Our Orion Neighborhood Television crew will be back again. We will be back doing softball. If I could find my, my schedule of events, which I cannot. So when I find it, I'll catch us up on what we're going to be covering. We've got a full slate of events covered for the rest of the spring. Uh, boys and girls lacrosse, track and field will be back for softball.
and director John Atwater just listened to, whispered something in my ear and I wasn't listening. S Track regionals, May 19th. Thank you, John. It's always nice to have a friendly voice in your ear. John Atwater is our director tonight. Our entire Orion neighborhood crew has been braving the elements, good and bad, all afternoon. The big boss, Ian Locke, braving the elements and manning the center field camera for us tonight. We're covering softball, track and field, lacrosse, and then we'll be back in the fall covering soccer, football, we're trying to bring it all to you here on Oregon Neighborhood Television. I'll be pleased to be back again with Chris Fritching in the broadcast booth for Lake Orion football. Six home games this fall, or six games to be covered on Orion Neighborhood Television, five home games, and we will be on the road at Oxford this year again. Up number nine, Riley Griffiths. Number nine, Riley Griffiths stepping in. This is her first time at bat. Alexa looks in. Strike at the knees. Now with a four run lead, Alexa can just haul back and bring it. Swing and a miss, 0-2. The catcher, Katie McGarry, due up next. Go to pitch, swing and a miss, got her on strikes. One down here in the sixth. Katie McGarry grounded the second and struck out in two plate appearances. Ground ball, cut off by the third baseman, throws the first, got her. Good play by Peyton Shadaya to cut it off before it got to shortstop. Threw across the diamond, got her by two steps. Two down. Carly Poplinski, who's got a walk and a strikeout tonight. 0 for 1. Foul back. Ball outside. Evens up the count. One and one. Nobody on. Two out. Top of the sixth. Dragons lead eight to four. Three runs in the fourth and three runs in the fifth. Strike three. Up, oh, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Good off speed pitch by Alexis. Ground ball to second. Throw to first. Sides retired. Troy Athens goes one, two, three here in the top of the sixth. Dragons up, eight to four. We'll remind you again that DVD copies can be purchased by calling Orion Neighborhood Television at 248 693 3377 or 248 393 1060. 
For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. Even games featuring Coach Eric Jennings. He's around for everything. DVD copies at 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. Going into the bottom half of the sixth, the Dragons will lead off with Cassidy Carson, who had that great play back in the fifth with a pop fly to short left field. Cassidy went out from her shortstop position and grabbed it on the run. Cassidy is a shortstop tonight. A pop up, shortstop's calling for it. One pitch, one out. Pop to Rachel Van Proy, and it's short. Number 25, Bethany Gardner, junior, junior playing first base, is going to pinch hit for Aaron Schroeder. Fouled on the third baseline. Fly ball left field. The fielder going over, makes the catch. Flew out to Jillian. Laudenslager, two down here in the sixth. Number 11, Kim Sonowski. She took over for Abby Marsh. Strike out, strike on the outside corner. A little pop-up on the left field. Wind carried it to the right fielder, caught by Michaela Kirtland. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Dragons here in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. Dragons up by eight. We'll be right back. I'm Jerry Mathers, and I have diabetic peripheral neuropathy, or DPN. DPN most often damages nerves in the hands and feet, causing pain, numbness, or even total loss of feeling, and it's become a leading cause of lower limb amputation. If you have diabetes, be proactive, monitor your glucose levels, take your medication, and maintain proper foot health with your podiatrist. It worked for me. Coming to the top of the seventh, Dragons up eight to four over the Troy Athens Red Hawks, top of the order. Coming up here in the top of the seventh, Michaela Kirtland will lead off. Michaela has a walk, a fly to right, and a strike out in two plate appearances, plus the walk. Line drive right up the middle, base hit. In the center field. One on, nobody out. Laney Ellinger. Two singles and a pop to short in three plate appearances today is on with one on, nobody out here in the top of the seventh. Dragon trying to shut him down. 
Ball outside. Outfield straight up. Ball high. One ball, one. He called it a strike. High strike zone for the umpire today. One ball, one strike, nobody out. Ball low. Susan Balecki ready to do a snap throw to first, but couldn't quite get the handle on the ball. Three and one on the outside part of the plate. Looks looking in. Here's the pitch. Foul. First baseman's got it. Pop to McKenna Roy at first. One down. Megan LaRose will step in now. She's got two singles and a fly to right in three plate appearances. Dragons looking to close it down. Strike down right down the middle. Fly ball foul down the left field line. Not quite. Bethany Gardner playing left field. Oh, Aaron Schroeder still in left field. She made a try for it. So it's one, no balls, two strikes, one out, runner on first. Ball low, two and two. And the pitch, half check swing, throw to first. And they said she went through that's a strikeout. That's two down. Brings up Peyton Ellinger. We have a little. little conference. Carrie Brennan, who is coaching third base, came in. Number 16, Alexa Sell. Pinch hit here in the top of the seventh. One on, two out. Alexa looking to close it out for the Dragon. Strike on the outside corner. Alexa Sell is a senior. Ground ball foul. No balls, two strikes. Brilliant sunshine now. Line drive down the right field line, foul. So 
So no balls, two strikes, one on, two out, top of the seventh. Dragons looking to close it out, up eight to four. Lexus Aguilar looking in, the pitch. Strike three, got her, the game is over. The Dragons come from behind, beat the Troy Athens Red Hawks eight to four. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Orion Athletics on Orion Neighborhood Television. We'll be right back. Spring is in the air. The Lake Orion DDA is gearing up for the 16th annual Flower Fair scheduled to take place over Mother's Day weekend, beginning on Friday, May 12th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and continuing on Saturday, May 13th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. With 60 to 70 vendors set up over two days in downtown Lake Orion selling flowers, garden art, and home improvement items, you are sure to find something you like. This annual favorite will once again give you the opportunity to find the perfect gift for mom. For more information on the Lake Orion Flower Fair, you can call 248-693-9742 or visit downtownlakeorion.org. Vision loss is not something that you feel until it happens. Most people lose their vision from diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma. Not at birth. Three million Americans have glaucoma, and half don't even know it. 11 million people in the United States have macular degeneration. So many eye disorders can be treated if caught early. Make a plan today to get your eyes checked. Visit brightfocus.org to learn more. Dragons come back from a 3-0 deficit to defeat the Troy Athens Red Hawks 8-4 here today on a sunny, blustery day here in Lake Orion. Dragons came back with three in the fourth and three in the fifth, highlighted by a three-run home run by Shelby Misak. So the Dragons move to 9-4 and four and... On behalf of our producer director, John Atwater, the big boss manning the center field camera today, Ian Locke, our entire Orion Neighborhood Television crew, I'm Doug Corliss. Thank you for watching. Good night, everyone.